I've had some questions about how to troubleshoot a radio and I would suggest that you download my free ebook because that's what I wrote the book for. It has a good troubleshooting section in it, plus a description of each circuit. Even though it's a more com complex radio, it's still a super heterodyne. Now this All-American 5 radio here, down at the bottom we have the power supply and it's a simple half-wave power supply with a Pi filter and it supplies the B plus to the plates of the other four tubes in this radio. The front end section is right here. You can see the antenna and the tuning circuit, the oscillator coil, and the 12BE6. That tube is the oscillator tube and mixer. The next section is the first IF and it's tuned to 455 so in other words when you're tuned to a station and with the oscillator they combine to make a signal of 455 a new carrier and you can see that there are two tuned circuits in this IF so this becomes a very sharp tuned circuit very high Q. It gets amplified by the 12BD6 and sent to another IF, the second IF, which again is very sharply tuned to 455. This next circuit is the detector. It detects the audio or removes the 455 carrier and leaves the audio for amplification. And the last circuit here, or the last section in this radio, is the audio output. Its job is to amplify the signal enough that it can drive the speaker. There is a link to my free ebook in the show more of this video. Now normally when a radio isn't working I put it on my Variac and check to make sure there's no excessive current and I check the voltages at each of the plates. Well this is a working radio so I thought I'd hook up the oscilloscope to each of these points in the radio so you can see what it's supposed to look like in a working radio. And here are the same points physically. Now I'm going to start right here with the 12BE6. This will be the first place I hook the scope to. Yeah. The radio is warmed up and tuned to a station and now I'm connecting the oscilloscope to pin 5 of the 12BE6. Now I'm going to detune the radio and notice at this point when I detune it, a signal gets stronger. Now it's tuned back in. Now I'm going to connect the oscilloscope to pin 5 of the 12BD6. Definitely has been amplified. So I'm going to turn down the oscilloscope. 
and we can see some audio there, but mostly 455 carrier. Here I've lowered the scan rate of the scope so we see more of the audio, but a little bit of the 455. Now I raised it a lot more 455. Back to a little bit of 455 in audio. Now I've really lowered the scanning and this is definitely audio. Now I'm going to connect the scope to pin 7 of the 12 AV6. It is audio. It's pretty weak, so I'm going to increase the amplification. And here you can see it's definitely audio. The audio has been detected and amplified. Okay, now I'm going to connect the oscilloscope to pin 7 of the 50 C5. And here you can see it is greatly amplified, so I'm going to lower the amplification of the scope. And again, this is just audio here. Now you might detect that there's a little something else there, and that is a slight 60 cycle ripple. What we've seen with the oscilloscope is what a working radio looks like. And here's my free ebook. And I recommend that you read through it once completely so you know what's in the book and then you can refer back to a particular section and reread maybe several times and I do this myself this is not a novel this is a technical book so sometimes it takes me a while to get the idea but it's definitely worthwhile because all these super heterodynes work the same way. Thanks for watching.